Okay, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to create a uh, cabinet notate or notate your cabinets in the kitchen drawing. Uh, Revit will do this for you, but you have to set up a cabinet tag. It's pretty quick and easy to do that, uh, but what it'll do uh, is end up giving you the notation uh, necessary uh, by selecting the cabinetry that you want to note. So to do that, uh, we're going to jump into Revit here, and I'm going to go... Uh, First, I'm going to run up to my um, first floor plan. And taking a look at the kitchen area, uh, we already have our elevations created. So I can see my elevation set up here now. And what I'm going to do is then go to uh, one of my elevations. And it's an easy way to see this. And you can see I already have some notate, notation here set up for my appliances. But I don't have anything for my cabinetry yet. So we're going to go ahead and add that information. So to do this, we're going to go to the annotation tab. We're going to slide over to where it says tag by category, select the tag by category, and then come down and select a cabinet. Going to get an error tag. It says uh, no tag loaded. Um, would you like to load one? I'm going to say yes. So we'll go ahead and load that uh, casework tag by hitting annotation at the top, then architectural, and then casework tag is the first one in the list here, and hit open. Once that happens, uh, a tag will appear when I select a cabinet. The only issue is that that uh, tag is uh, having a question mark. It's not looking at the family name uh, and the size of the cabinet. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust that family. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hit escape to get out of placing uh, tags. Actually hit escape twice. Then I'm going to select the, cat, the tab uh, itself and I can hit edit family at the top here or I can double click on it. Either way we'll get the family to open. And now I'm editing the actual uh, casework tag. To do this, I'm going to go ahead and select the text, and now I want to either hit Edit Label at the top of the screen, or you can do it over here in the Properties where it says Edit uh, for the label uh, uh, line. So here, I'm going to come in, and uh, Family Name, looks like Family Name has already been selected here for me. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure that is selected, make sure it's over here. If it's not, what you have to do is go through this list and find that information, so you just find what you want kind of like we're going to add width. I'm going to have the width of the cabinets as well, and I'm going to add that. So we have family name and width. If anything's here that I don't want, I just select it and then hit this button, and that removes it. So I uh, want to have these here. So family name and width, it's the information I want. I'm going to hit apply, hit OK. Now I can see family name and width is here. I'm going to go to edit type over here in the properties and just take a look at the text size. So the text size I'm going to set, make sure it says 1 16th for this particular drawing. It'll make things fit a little nicer. Uh, if it's not, so I think it's generally like a 332nd or something, you go ahead and change that. So we'll go back and hit OK. And uh, if things aren't seating properly for some reason, if it's not uh, showing up, you can grab that little blue dot and you can stretch out the uh, text box. So with all that set up, uh, we're going to hit Load into Project. And uh, it says you haven't saved a project, that's fine. No need to save right now. Um, the casework tag already exists. Do you want to replace this one? Yes, I want to replace that one. So the one that's in here, I'm going to overwrite right now. So overwrite the existing version. And there it goes. So it says upper cabinet, double door, wall unit. That's what this is, and it's two feet wide. So the only thing I don't like is that box uh, that's still showing up. So I can select the tag, come over to the properties, hit edit type, and then I can uncheck the box visibility, and that box should go away. Yep, nope, there it goes. So hit OK. So next thing I'm going to do is just uh, go back to annotate. I can grab tag by category, and now I can continue to select. Now, as I do this, uh, if I hit escape twice to stop selecting, uh, there's an elbow that shows up here where you can then actually move the elbow and then move the tag so that you can spread your tags out uh, across uh, your drawing and keep things nice and neat and orderly. Uh, so there's also, uh, it's one way to add um, uh, tags by specific uh, option here. The other way you can do is you can use this button. It says tag all. Uh, you can select tag all. Here you can select your casework tags and then you can hit apply and OK. And the only thing about this is that you're then going to have to go in and select the casework information and move it off of your uh, drawing because it lays it right over top of the object and then you'll have to turn on the leader line in the properties which is really not that big of a deal. Um, still, you get the um, uh, elbow and the ability to move. i just slide this view out here a little bit, and you can see uh, it's going to pull to that cabinet. So that works as well. Just have to do some cleanup uh, on the drawing. So hopefully this helps uh, get information into your elevations. 
Same way can be done for your, um, your, uh, your top view of your kitchen. If I go back to the drawing uh, that I gave you guys as an example, you go ahead and do this for all of your elevations, labeling all your cabinetry. Then when you come down to your top view, uh, to get this information laid out, uh, what I like to do is create a details, uh, detail view of my uh, floor plan. So my floor plan can get pretty hectic and chaotic. Uh, and actually tagging all of this information with cabinets and laying this out, this is just a little too confusing. So what I like to do here is uh, I'm going to go to the View tab and I'm going to select Call Out. And then I'm going to come down and select the rectangular uh, Call Out. And then I'm just going to box around my kitchen because I want to do a detail call out of the kitchen. Oh, come on down here and then go ahead and click. So I have a detail call out now of my kitchen. I'll hit Escape to get out of there. And I'll go ahead and move uh, the call out down here so I can actually see it. And I'll double click on the call out to get to that uh, detail call out. So this was the view that was created by making that call out. And I can find that over here in my browser. There's detail view, uh, detail one is the, the, the detail I'm on because it's highlighted or it's uh, bolded. So if I select it and right click, I can rename this. So if I want to rename this uh, cabinet, Uh, cabinet kitch call out, uh, that would be fine. Then I can go ahead and I can start labeling uh, these cabinets. Go back to my annotation, I can do tag by category uh, and then zoom in and I can start selecting things here. So if I wanted to actually grab, get in here and actually grab this cabinet under the countertop, there it is, uh, and start working my way around, we can do that. Uh, the other way that we could also do it uh, is if we wanted to tag all, select casework and hit apply. The only thing is, what we're going to probably have to do, whoops, didn't grab that, I guess. Let's see if that's going to happen here. Uh, annotate, tag all, casework, and hit OK. There they are. The only thing is, again, you're going to probably have to maneuver some things and pull things around so that you can see them and read them properly. Because you can't leave something like this where things are all over top of each other. Uh, so you just have to be aware of how you do that. Uh, turning on your leader line if necessary. Um, keeping these over top of the, the wall cabinet would be fine, just as long as it's very easy to read. What you want to do is uh, eliminate confusion and keep things as clean and neat uh, as possible. So setting up your uh, kitchen call out uh, keeps things nice and clean on your floor plan and then adding all the notation allows you to be able to understand what cabinets uh, are what, uh, labeling uh, as necessary. All right, so I hope that helps you get through uh, an easy way to label and uh, lay out your uh, kitchen and cabinet information.